Hey, you welcome back to IT Finance, and today we are talking about Nano Dimension NNDM stock and what the future holds for Nano Dimension stock as a whole. We will start off by talking about Nano Dimension's collaboration with Harris and how NNDM and L3 Harris have launched a 3D printed part into space to see how it fares in a space environment. We will also talk about how Nano Dimension could play a big role in the rapidly growing 3D printing market but why it could potentially take a little while before we see major gains in the NNDM stock price. Go and press the like button on this video for more Nano Dimension stock news and let's make you some free money with Weeble. Weeble is a free brokerage app where you can buy and sell stocks, options, and cryptocurrencies. But right now, you can get two free stocks with Weeble. You can get the first free stock, which can be worth anywhere from $2 to $250 for just creating an account. And you can get a second free stock, which can be worth up to $1,600 if you invest $100 or or more on your first deposit. You will have a 1 in 100 chance of getting stocks like Facebook, Starbucks, or Snapchat, and you have a 1 in 50 chance of getting stocks like Google or Procter & Gamble. To get this offer, just press on the link in my description box down below, but do it quickly because this offer will not last forever. And without further ado, let's get into today's stories. Nano Dimension is an industry-leading 3D printing company of electronics which has launched the first ever 3D printed integrated R F circuit into space to the International Space Station with the help of their longtime partner L3 Harris. This has been a two year long process in the making where the primary purpose of this test is to see how 3D printed electronics perform in a harsh environment like the vacuum of space. If this is successful, many more 3D printed products by Nano Dimension will be produced and used in aerospace capacities. This experiment will help L3 Harris and other aerospace and defense contractors determine if Nano Dimension is a good company to buy from and outsource work to, and it will also prove that 3D printing can be superior to traditional manufacturing when it comes to the space environment. Nano Dimension basically created a single RF board which is used to convey data, video, and voice very quickly across great distances. This device will be tested in three stages, such as the pre-flight stage, the in-flight stage, and the post-flight stage. The electronic device from Nano Dimension will be flying 1,200 miles or 2,000 kilometers over the Earth for a period of six months. Nano Dimension's 3D printed AME electronics have many advantages over traditional manufacturing methods. Such as the product is lighter weight, it provides higher performance in most cases, it can be created very quickly, and complex and unique structures can be made with ease. Even a senior scientist from L3 Harris had to say great things about Nano Dimension, and I quote, 3D printing is playing a critical role in advancing the development and applications of small and nano satellites and the overall LEO economy. The applications of 3D printing are broad, and Nano Dimension's contribution to this project is extremely important. Nano Dimension's chief technology officer had to say this in response, and I quote, this project has been a significant opportunity to qualify our additive manufacturing technology for space applications by fabricating a fully integrated communications board enabled by the multi-material and multi-layer technology of our Dragonfly LDM system. The collaboration with L3 Harris has increased the technological readiness of our system towards the TR9 level, which is the highest technology readiness level that indicates the capability for volume deployment in a LEO environment. So this is great news for Nano Dimension and NNDM stock, which will help NNDM land more contracts and collaborations in the future, which will inevitably increase revenues, and this will also increase the Nano Dimension stock price. Nano Dimension stock is a great speculative play with hyper growth potential in a very good niche market. Also, right now, NNDM stock is cheap and it might not be cheap forever. So, if you value Nano Dimension's technology and you think they will get more aerospace customers, or if you think that ARC will include them in their space ETF, feel free to start a position or add to your position regarding Nano Dimension. 
I get asked all the time when people should buy and sell stocks, but you don't even have to worry about that if you own a great company at a good price. Just hold it long term and you could be successful. If you jumped in on NNDM stock in late 2020 or early 2021, like I said you could, and you adopted the be right and sit tight attitude, then you would already be up hundreds of percentages in gains. Or you could just get into Nano Dimension stock right now. There is still long term upside here, but please be strategic about your entry price and try to average down once in a while. Also, I do not convey or condone the fact that you should only buy one stock. Please be diversified. I personally like the PRNT ETF, so I am diversified among the entire 3D printing industry. The 3D printing industry looks primed for hyper growth because AME Electronics alone will be worth around $2.9 billion by 2029. The compound annual growth rate for the industry is around 44% and Nano Dimension is set to grow alongside this industry, especially because of its niche technology and not to mention their acquisitions, which will expand Nano Dimension's technology and reach within this market. Nano Dimension stock could be a very good long-term winner, plus NNDM's financials look very good. I did a whole video breakdown of Nano Dimension's financials already, but basically it shows that Nano Dimension is in a great spot, and it also shows that Nano Dimension stock is just waiting to explode, but we always run the risk of it getting cheaper before it skyrockets, so don't get cold feet, and also again, do not pour everything in just into one stock. Please be diversified, please be safe. Even Nano Dimension's CFO had to say this, and I quote, We ended 2020 with a strong balance sheet and $671 million in cash and bank deposits, thanks to the equity offerings we concluded during the year. And we have strengthened it even more to a balance of nearly $1.5 billion as of the end of February 2021. According to my Nano Dimensions Finance video, they also generated revenues of $3.4 million in 2020, which is actually really good because they were supposed to make close to nothing during that time. So the bottom line for Nano Dimension stock is that it's a good buy depending on how long you plan to hold it. So right now I would suggest under $10 is a decent buy, but if you really want to hold it for years and years and you really believe in the company, then just buy it now and just hold it out. Nano Dimension has good financials, they have a chance at hyper growth in their stock price, they have major contracts and their technology works, plus Nano Dimension wants to expand their capabilities and technology through acquisitions. This is more than enough evidence to buy and make a position in Nano Dimension stock. Remember to like this video right now, subscribe if you are new, don't forget to comment your thoughts down below, and I will see all of you in the next YT video.